tell people all the time, you gotta know your window. I mean, there was all these different factions, but the bottom line was the window was open. Rob, I wanna know what it would be like to put together a comic. Wouldn't it be cool to put together a comic on your own? And my wife and I started laughing because we'd been doing that for years. Jim was a different generation who had done indie comics. I started drawing when I was about two, and my father read comics in World War II. He saw that I was drawing in a comic book style, and he started feeding me comics, and that was it. And then I got into comics by doing small press and underground comics first. So the idea of leaving Marvel and doing a super independent, there was no hesitation on his part. Rob kept after Eric, Todd, and I pretty much all that summer. And somewhere along the line, they started talking about, well, what if we all did books together? Rob really wanted to test the waters and to see if the fans who were reading his stuff over at Marvel would follow him someplace else. If you're gonna go and do a book, Rob, and you're gonna do one, Eric, I'm about ready to go. Why don't we try and band together? They can replace you one at a time. But you leave in, 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 in mass, and all of a sudden there's an impact there. Rob says, whatever's going down is going to go down in New York City this weekend. If you want to be part of it, you have to be there. Todd and Rob were going to New York for an auction, and they were auctioning off the entirety of Spider-Man 1, X-Men number 1, and X-Force number 1. So we go to New York and we're gonna tell the, the editor of Marvel that we're gonna quit. When they left, they knew it was the four of us. Four of us were the core.